Well, it's just about 7 o'clock on this Saturday, July 22nd. Good morning. I'm Devin Feely. And I'm Julie Watts. Coastal clouds to start today. Inland heat this weekend. Mild to warm, though, by the coast and the bay. Today, the warmer of the two days for your weekend. Uh, and if you are heading to San Francisco for the marathon, maybe you're here already, it'll be some pretty great marathoning weather for you. Uh, we will uh, be looking at temperatures near 57 degrees. And we do want to take a look at uh, some traffic. The marathon isn't the only thing that may slow you down tomorrow. In fact, KPX 5 traffic reporter Jacqueline Dunn has the details. It's that time again, the San Francisco Marathon tomorrow, but many drivers won't be racing. That is due to many closures caused by this marathon. The northbound direction of the Golden Gate Bridge will be closed from 6 a.m. until 9 a.m. Do expect delays in that southbound direction as well, though the southbound lanes will remain open. There will be delays between midnight and 10 a.m. Also, many closures in and throughout the city, especially along the Embarcadero. The northbound direction will be shut down from Third King to Broadway. Southbound direction closed from Broadway to Harrison, and that all runs between midnight and 2.45 p.m. Keep in mind there will be a Muni closures in the subways, and that's between Mo the Montgomery Station and West Portal. There will be a bus bridge in place, but people riding the bus bridge do expect delays as you are trying to make your way across Market Street because the San Francisco Marathon runners will be crossing Market Street as well. And a Giants game at 105. So lots to do this weekend in the city, but do expect delays and give yourself a little extra time. Some people evacuated by the massive wildfire in Mariposa County are starting to return to their homes. Authorities lifted the evacuation order for the town of Mariposa. The so-called Detweiler fire burned more than 75,000 acres since it broke out Sunday. The fire destroyed 99 structures, including 50 homes. Right now, it is just 25% contained. Firefighters are finally making good progress on this fire that stretched along Highway 49 and Highway 140. Mariposa residents are returning to their homes or what's left of them. You can see a two-story fireplace, but no house surrounding it. There's part of a motorcycle, but no garage. Now, whether residents' homes are burned down or spared, the county of Mariposa is coming together in support. A few people that I know that have houses left, I took pictures to send them because if I would have had a picture of my place still standing, it would have made me and wife feel a lot better. Although the fire is still active, firefighters are hoping to have it fully contained by August 5th. Well, instead of seeing the band counting crows, some would-be concert goers are left counting wasted money this morning. Structural problems forced two big-name bands to suddenly call off their show. Matchbox 20 and the Counting Crows were set to perform at the Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View last night, but an issue with a loading dock forced the show to be canceled. Fans were told they could get refunds, but they say there's more to it than that. Time off of work, they're not going to refund your gas, they're not going to refund... Um, Babysitting stays, they're not going to refund uh, your hotel stay. Matchbox 20 is rescheduled to perform Tuesday, but the Counting Crows won't make it due to a conflict. A rash of mail truck break ins in San Jose, and now hundreds of residents are being told to check their accounts for any activity linked to the stolen mail. Investigators say the mail trucks were broken into on back to back days last week in Willow Glen while the carriers were delivering letters by hand. The post office has sent warning letters to 350 homes, urging customers to keep clo a close eye on their bank statements. Living in an area like Willow Glen, um, there is kind of that expectation of security, especially when it does come to something like your mail. And so I think having that sort of breach in the neighborhood is kind of a little bit scary and a little bit shocking. Now, police say they are still investigating if the robberies are the work of one person or one group. A reminder, if you plan to take Muni this weekend, the subway is going to be shut down. It's because Muni will be testing its new light rail cars, which means the subway will be closed almost every weekend until August 20th during the testing phase. It will also shut down early on weeknights beginning at 9.30 p.m. Muni is providing extra bus service during those times. The subway will be open from August 11th to the 13th during the Outside Lands Music Festival. An Oakland man faces charges this morning of trying to support ISIS. According to court documents, Amir Sina Al Alagagi met with undercover FBI agents to plan an attack. Prosecutors say he had plans to escape afterwards and hide in Mexico. They say he set up social media accounts that were for the use and benefit of ISIS. Amir's attorney says that his client never supported any terror group. 
He says the charges are based on Internet chat conversations and describes the Oakland man as, quote, young, naive man who, and it appears he allowed himself to be drawn into conversations that he should have been far more suspicious of. Amir is currently being held without bond at the Alameda County Jail in Oakland.